Hi, this is Mans from Quest for a Farm, and we are going to be making some chili powder. So, I've had these chilies that have been drying off for months since the end of last season, and I've got some cayennes and a few little jalapenos here. So, I've already started kind of de seeding them. There are their seeds. This is the cane, this is the, the jalapenos. I'm just going to show you how I do that really quick. I'm seed saving these so I can plant again and have more chilies at the end of the season. So really super easy. By the time they dried like this, the seeds sort of are half loose. You just need to get them a bit of a squish. Um, one of the things you need to be a little bit careful for, it's a mistake I made so I saved my chili to show you. Um, if your chilies weren't quite, quite dry and you ended up putting them in a jar like I did, which was a bit silly of me, I should have known better, then you can end up with mold inside of your chilies, which we definitely want to discard those so it happened to some of my jalapenos so i just wanted to show you when i took it out i could smell something was a little bit funky and as i opened it up you can see there on that side is the moldy bit so we're going to discard that we don't want any of that um in our chili sauce so i opened a few more of them up you can see nice and clean and red inside we'll open this one up as well so if i don't trust them i open them up nice and clean inside so that's pretty much it once they're all done i tend to give them a little bit of a sleuth around just in case We've lost some of the, oh, goodness, just in case we have some of the seeds. And now uh, because they've been air drying and not in my dehydrator, I am going to give them a rinse off because they are quite dusty. Okay, now I am just going to put them on a little plate or something to dry in the sun. And in the meantime... I have my little seed packets, I don't know if you can see, I've written jalapeno, I've labelled them. This might seem like an awful lot, and it is, but um, I seed start and I give to my mum and dad and some of my neighbours as well. And yesterday we had the most horrific wind and hailstorm which annihilated most of my babies so i'm probably going to have to start again i'm going to give them a week to recover and that's it i'll show you footage of the storm hi guys and welcome back so now we are going to put our chili powder together so our chilies are nice and dried and you can hear they're nice and crunchy so basically what we're going to do is we're going to shove them into our blender you can see i've got some of the jalapenos and some of the cayenne peppers everything goes in i might just add a little bit later okay Turn that on. Okay, you can grind this as coarsely or finely as you like. But, of course, nobody likes a plain 
chili powder. So we are going to add a few things. I've got a little. <coughs> <coughs> I've got a little tarm here. Just gonna add a little bit. I have some coriander seeds, slightly less of that. You just add it with your heart and soul. This is some sweet paprika powder. I'm gonna add that. I like a bit of paprika in my mix. And then we've got some garlic powder here. So this is going to be a really great rub for steaks and stuff like that. Get all of that out the way. I think I might actually add some flaked onions. Okay, these are some onions that we dehydrated and flaked our own selves. So let's make it relatively oniony. Those can go in. Blade back on. And so for my final mix, I like to make sure everything is nice and mixed up and evenly distributed. You can add a bit of salt, you can add a bit of pepper, really just the flavors that you like. It's your chili powder. And that's it, homemade chili powder for depending on how much you've grown on your own, are the cheapest chips or for free. So now we're just going to decant it into our little jar. You want to be a little careful here because at this point the fumes are real. So you can see I'm just aiming it away from my face. And now we have this beautiful herby, ooh, garlicky chili powder from both cayenne peppers and jalapenos that will last us an age and a half. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. It keeps us motivated.